Okay, uh, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, Professor David J. De Los Reyes. <coughs> My topic for this morning will be a long video format and this is a continuation of my long video format analytic geometry so <coughs> our topic for tonight will be analytic geometry lesson number two okay uh, let's proceed our subject matter for uh, this morning will be analytic geometry lesson number two and the title of the topic will be slope of a straight line uh, we are talking uh, slope of a straight line considering the so-called cartesian coordinate system cartesian coordinate system meaning uh, we are given the x and y axis so when we see cartesian it involves the x and y axis the concept that will be discussed this morning will be on how to compute for the slope under the study of uh, analytic geometry the designation for slope is actually liter m and this is actually slope slope and uh, like a uh, lesson number one uh, we brought out the formula on how to compute for the distance between two points in the Cartesian coordinate system. So we now know to compute for the distance because we derived the formula. So for lesson number two, uh, we will be deriving the formula on how to compute for the slope. Uh, if we are given two points, and these two points here, if we try to connect a straight line, okay, straight line, and the problem is asking what will be the slope of this one. Okay. So the designation of the slope under the study of analytic geometry is actually designated by a small letter n. Okay, let's proceed. Oh, this is just a simple one. So <coughs> since uh, I will be presenting analytic geometry like uh, what we did under the study of engineering, I don't know for others uh, what they call these uh, mathematics subjects, but we will concentrate on the presentation and how it was presented when I took up my engineering course. Okay, so we will take it easy. Uh, this is just an easy one. Okay, let's proceed. So to derive the formula, okay, uh, we will be drawing the y and x axis and we will be presenting point number one designated by capital P with the subscript 1 with the subscripts or with the coordinates of the first point to be x1, y1 and we are given another point 2 designated by capital letter P with the subscript 2 and the corresponding coordinates will be x sub 2, y sub 2 so if we try to connect point P number 1 and number 2 there will be a straight line and the problem is asking what will be the slope of this one a slope uh, meaning uh, how many degrees will it be with respect to the x-axis maybe moving counterclockwise okay so if we try to compute for the slope of this one for the meantime uh, we will designate the angle of inclination of uh, the line with respect to the horizontal to be alpha. Okay. We designate that the angle of inclination of this straight line here connecting point number one and number two to be alpha. So this is a horizontal line. This is a vertical line. Like, like the topic uh, distance formula uh, this link here is actually y sub 2 minus y sub 1 and this link here is actually x sub 2 minus x sub 1 x sub 1 is this one x sub 2 is this one so the difference of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 is actually this distance here this is y sub 2 emanating from the x-axis this is y sub 1 so if we try to compute for this one it will be y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So this distance here 
which is a vertical line, is actually y sub 2 minus y squared. So it seems uh, we are now given a right triangle here. Okay? In which the, if this is alpha, the opposite side, the side opposite alpha will be y sub 2 minus y sub 1. And the side adjacent to alpha is actually x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And this is actually the straight line. Okay? And uh, the problem is asking for this one, alpha. Alpha is actually... <coughs> Oh, let's place this one to be m for the meantime. Okay? And according to our derivation, that will be equal to tangent of alpha. So if we now try to derive the, the value of m, okay, with the coordinates x1, y1, and x2, y2, I place it here for this so-called derivation. The slope of any straight line is actually equal to the tangent of alpha. And which alpha is the angle of inclination of the straight line with respect to the horizontal line. So for the meantime, this is alpha. Sorry for that one. This is alpha. Okay. So if my definition is slope is equal to tangent of alpha. Okay. And what is tangent of alpha? Uh, we passed by the study of uh, triangle already. Uh, tangent function is actually the ratio of the sine function over cosine function, right? Or, or the opposite side over the adjacent side. So considering this uh, right triangle here, this will be the opposite side considering alpha, and this is the adjacent side considering alpha. So if we try to take the tangent of alpha, it will be the difference y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Uh, the tangent of angle, angle alpha, which is equal to the slope, is actually this uh, opposite side here, over right adjacent side. It's the difference of the ordinates, considering point number 2 and number 1, and the difference in abscissa, considering point number 2 and number 1. That's why the first one is with the subscript 2, second one is with the subscript 1. For the abscissa, it's also second point and the second point. So in general now, under the study of analytic geometry, from now on till the end, okay, if we say slope of a straight line, considering two points, the slope will be the difference of the ordinates, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So this is actually a general equation. Okay, number two. Uh, why number two? Because the last round uh, we presented or we derived the formula on how to compute for the distance between two points. Okay? And for now, uh, the problem is not asking for the distance. The problem is asking what will be the slope of this uh, straight line here considering point number one and number two if we try to connect a straight line. The problem is as just asking what will be the slope. And to find for the slope, it will be by using this formula here. In general, from now on, like what I said, it will be the difference of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, where small letter m is actually slow. For as long we are still studying analytic geometry, small letter m is actually the slope of a straight line. Okay, and the coordinates x1, y1 is the coordinates of point. P with the subscript 1 and x to y to where the coordinates of point P with the subscript 2. As easy as that one. Okay, uh, we don't make it hard. It's easy. So we just take it easy. The first lesson is regarding the distance formula and the introduction. And lesson number 2 is actually the slope of a straight line. Because uh, there are many topics under a straight line. But uh, we do it gradually. So for the meantime, we are considering a straight line, considering point number one and number two. And the problem is just asking for the slope. So the formula on how to compute for the slope will be y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay, that's it. 
So, for those of you who are taking up electrical engineering or plan to take up electrical engineering, oh no, engineering. It doesn't matter if it's mechanical, electrical, silver, or electronics. As long as you are taking uh, engineering, you will pass by analytic geometry. So for those of you who plan to study engineering, this is for you guys. If you want to subscribe or watch my videos on my channel, I got long video format discussions of the complete subject matters, okay? So it's a very nice thing. It's not a short video. It's a complete video. So for those of you who are planning to take up engineering, this is for you guys. You can watch my videos, okay? You can subscribe and you can share it. You can share it if you would like. Okay, good morning from Los Angeles. This is Professor Abitiel.